Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Dr. D Dozen and this is my morning routine where I prep breakfast and lunch for my 12 kids. But first, coffee. Okay, I'm really excited. If you've been here a while, you know I got a double waffle maker and then I got it on like this really good sale on Amazon. And then I was so bummed because our outlets weren't high enough, whatever, for it to work. It kept like popping the breaker. Anyways, Josh remembered that the outlets in our garage are 20. Don't ask me 20 what, I don't know, 20 something. And so he ran an extension cord from our garage to my waffle maker so I can try the double waffle, ma waffle maker today. Okay, let me see. I wanna try this. I really don't know what temperature to put it at. And I accidentally set the timer. Okay, yeah. I'm excited. This could be a fail. I'm just warning you, I've never used this double waffle maker before. But we're gonna try it. Let's make some bacon to go with the waffles. Gonna have bacon, waffles, fruit for breakfast. Oh shoot, I gotta get those little sandwich things I bought. Sandwiches for lunch. Dinner is steak tacos. I'll get that marinating later. Sorry, I set the timer on the waffle maker by accident, so in case you hear a weird noise. That's what that is. All right. Today is Tuesday. What do we have? I have a doctor's appointment. And, oh, Zoe had an appointment for her wrist yesterday. She's in a cast for four more weeks and she can do horseback riding in six weeks. She's out. She's out for the rest of the summer. Hey Dixie. You watching the cooking show? No, you're hoping I drop bacon. That's what you're doing. She's watching me very intently. Okay, I have the oven set to 415. I'm gonna cook this bacon in about 15 minutes. It's the least messiest option. of Hungry Jack. I know I just measured this the other day. I'm gonna 
these days I'll write it down. I think it's five cups, right? Is that what we said? Five cups? Yeah, we said five cups. I knew that. Right, seven cups of water. out in case I want to make more. more banner. These are our tester ones. We'll see. We'll see. It might take me a few waffles to get it. really fast.
right, I did about a cup in each cup of waffle mix, waffle batter. All right, and let's make some sandwiches. I did not get to Wegmans yesterday. I got to do that today. I do Wegmans today. A doctor's appointment today. Two, four, six. What else? Tuesday, soccer game. What about football scrimmage tonight or is that tomorrow? They just added two football scrimmages to the schedule for the week. But the twins first soccer games tonight. Hopefully not at the same time as the football scrimmage. I gotta grab the peanut butter. it down. Is that the healthiest sandwich in the world? No. But that is best. I want to go back to Costco. Patrick's having his birthday's on Saturday. He's going to be 15. We're doing a Halloween themed birthday party and I cannot find Halloween anywhere. Like it's not out yet. I get it. It's July. Um, but Costco did have some Halloween stuff. So I think I might go back there. I got a couple things on Amazon. Um, but yeah, it's kind of overpriced. Like the Halloween stuff on Amazon, it's like off season, so they decided to overprice it. I don't know. Oh, and I got some stuff from Williams Sonoma, but I don't think it's gonna be here in time, but that's okay. I'll use it for Halloween. Anyways, if you have seen the trending ghost waffle maker that's like out of stock everywhere, Williams Sonoma has it half the price everywhere else. It was $9.95. So I was excited that I found that.
is in the morning and then two scrimmages at night. I just went to Walmart too, you know, where I could have gotten the six pound container. Although if I go to Costco, I guess I can get it there. Let's put the timer on the waffle. James is doing much better after getting his wisdom teeth removed this weekend. He's on the mend. Ate dinner with us last night. So that was good. Ketchup for Bodie. Did I open this? Yes, I did. New thing. Excuse me, ketchup. All right, is that everything? tripping over lunch boxes that fell everywhere <laughs> whatever it's just one of those days So Josh stepped on glass this weekend and got stitches in the bottom of his foot and he like couldn't put any weight on it. He just was like, could barely walk. And then he invented, oh my gosh, what did he call it? I can't even remember what he called it. He cut a hole in the bottom of his rock walk around. Pretty genius invention actually. Okay, it's super cute. These are by Joy G. J O I E. I will have to let you know tomorrow if they actually work and like 
don't make the sandwich stale. That's the problem I find with a lot of the sandwich containers is it like makes them stale. Bacon like halfway through. Top one to the bottom, bottom to the top. Josh coughing. He's not sick. He's just out of allergy medicine. I gotta get that too. Peanut butter. I got a lot of stuff to get. I gotta do. I'm gonna have to go to Wegmans. I think what I'll do is I'll go to Wegmans and then I'll take Patrick with me for a Costco run so he can see Halloween stuff. Other thing I issue I've had with reusable sandwich containers I've used in the past is like I feel like I can't get them fully clean like I feel like it's still in the crevices and that's why I also wanted to try these because I feel like there's not really crevices it can get into we'll see See, it like stretches. I promise this is not a promo. I was just really excited. I found them. Because I've been looking for a reusable container that will not become a disgusting mess. And that's easy to clean. And that doesn't smush the sandwich. And that doesn't make the sandwich stale by lunchtime. I could be getting my hopes up. I could be setting myself up here and they are a total fail, but it's worth a try. box. My kids love waffles. And waffles are one of those things where if you make too many, you just freeze them. And then the kids can grab them from the freezer whenever they want. These are all out of order because they fell. So give me a minute. Let me figure this out. Harley, Bodie, Jason's 
lost. So Jason's using Jordan's spare. Jordan dash Zoe. It is going to be so hot here in New York, like 90 degrees this week. Wet wipe. Hold on, Dixie. Can you get it? I know my dog knows how to open that screen door. She'd rather I wait on her. She's like a cat. She thinks she's a cat. for Bree and Harley, Sunny D for the twins, and Nevea, Kool-Aid for Zoe, water for James and Bodie, fruit punch for Dash, water, Bree wanted water as well. She wanted juice and water now. Um, she said she's really thirsty at lunch. I think it's like right after gym. Okay, yogurt, I am for Zoe and Bodhi, Oreo for Dash and Bree. I gotta get blueberry yogurt. Jeez, I gotta get a lot of stuff. Okay, out of blueberry yogurt for Harley. Peach yogurt for Alex and Nevea. Oh, vanilla yogurt. And I need to get, I need to grab Gobert for Jason and Patrick. Oreo, it's like a cookie, okay? But it's not gonna hurt them to have a fun Mario Oreo in their lunch. bracelet.
right, I think I'm on the last waffle. Let's see if we want to make more or we think we got enough. That's going to be a little one. Ice pack. Ice packs, peanut butter, blueberry yogurt, oil, ice packs. I'll just drop Harley off and go. repeating to myself stuff I gotta get at the store. shocked at how fast you get a pile of waffles with uh, two. This thing cooks so fast. Yeah. It's Let's make a waffle bar. here. Put these here. That actually is the perfect amount.
grapes. And waffle bar is done. Thank you for spending time with me this morning. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I'm so proud of you. I'll see you next time.